Greetings viewers, I'm Javier Marquez and I'm presenting to you this comedic public service announcement which uses comedic elements to draw in the viewer while also getting a serious message across. Now as you already know, COVID is spreading fast in the United States. Almost as fast as those... What do you call them? Oh yes, yes, the bullet trains in Japan. They go whoosh! <laughs> now unfortunately, the virus has infected 26 million people and has killed another 444,000. That sounds like a downer, because, well, it is. Now, all of this could have been avoided if we had just, if we as Americans had just listened to the health experts and the doctors about how severe this virus is. Now, unfortunately, we still seen COVID deniers, or maybe, you know, you don't deny that COVID's here, but you say, oh, but uh, it won't affect me. Well, boy, are you wrong. It doesn't discriminate. It affects everyone, whether you be Democrat or Republican, rich or poor, straight or gay, black or white, COVID does not discriminate. Now, in order to address those people who don't take COVID seriously, I present to them COVID didn't prepare, and it's anybody else who wants to listen. Basically, I crave attention. I'm like a social media influencer. <laughs> First, we'll start with a do or don't segment. When in the pandemic, don't have large maskless gatherings. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, better get going, huh? Yeah, don't. Regarding COVID, the CDC says that if a gathering with people has lots of people and it's hard to social distance, that's the highest risk. But if you must hang out with other people, do stuff like wear a mask. Oh yeah, yep, we better get masks because, you know, I don't want to get infected. Are you really going to the store without your mask? Why would I take a mask? It doesn't affect me. Uh, it hasn't affected that many people. And anyway, I'm only going to be gone for about five minutes. Well, yeah, five minutes without a mask is five minutes where you're completely unprotected and vulnerable. Are you really going to the store without your mask? Oh shoot, I forgot my mask. Wow, who knew that injecting Clorox would carry on COVID? I'm gonna stop you right there. Really? What's up with the disembodied voice around here? But I'm Javi Marquez. I'm supposed to narrate the do's and don'ts segment. But anyway, don't believe everything you see or hear on the internet about COVID. There's serious misinformation going on about COVID and the vaccination efforts underway. Just because you see something- Okay then, doesn't mean what do I check? I'm glad you asked. This is a do or don't segment after all. When researching for credible sources, look for things like the CDC or the FDA. They are credible sources and they're made by people who are actually knowledgeable on the subject. Whoa, I guess the CDC is knowledgeable about stuff. That makes that earlier website I was on seem like a bunch of quack doctors. Well, they ain't ducks, that's for sure. <laughs> well, maybe. I don't know. Thanks for watching the News and Don'ts segment. Now, we've gotten through one segment, but we still need to further educate you folks. So, Javier, Javier Marquez, he sent me over to tell you guys that you need to keep paying attention to this. So, now, coming up next is a how to not wear a mask segment, which is something that my high school just recently did. I know, original, right? Really? Not, 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 not one individual, not one can laughter? All right. So, and this is painfully obvious, but guys, don't wear your mask with the cup they use in sparring down there. I mean, if you're here doing an anti-mask rally, you might have to wear two of them to make sure 
you know, certain areas don't get beaten in the struggle. But other than that, I mean... And don't wear like masks like a night goggle, guys. It's supposed to protect you from the virus, which can go through your nose and your mouth. Don't worry, the filming location is safe right now. There's nobody around me. If you have like one of those little sailboats or something that you use on the water right here, don't use your mask as a sail. I mean, there's no use for it when you're around people. And do people still even use wooden sailboats anymore? <laughs> Good evening, America. Welcome to Prime Time. I'm your host, Jorge Banuelos. Today, we have an important guest on COVID-19 himself, or itself. Do viruses even have pronouns? <laughs> well, anyway, we're getting him on a special call. He'll be right, um, oh, we're getting a call right now. Ha ha ha! Welcome Hogan, America! Um, you've been here since January. <laughs> I know! So, right, um, first question for you, COVID, um, could you please explain for us all the different variants there are of you circulating in the U.S. right now? Could you please explain that to our audience? For sure! You are my British variant super infectious! <laughs> and thou was at the mina variante brasileira can now pueden ser afetada por anticorpos anteriores! So that's Spanish? Oh, yeah, I know what Spanish sounds like. And then there's a South African one, which is basically the same as a British one, except a bit r more racist. Well then, thank you for telling us. Now, on to our second question. Uh, could you tell us how you spread? Oh boy! I can spread by aerosols? By hard objects? I meant, could you explain a bit of the science behind it? For our viewers that don't understand. Sure! You know all those spikes I have? Those attach to a cell, and I pop out my DNA to infect it! Like a vacuum that's been put on blow instead of suck? Yeah! Oh, like the Spaceballs scene? You love Spaceballs? I do! Well, uh, that wraps us up for... for this, uh, for this segment. Um, COVID, do you have any, uh, last words you'd like to tell the audience? I see you! What is this, a, a ghost movie? No, I- no, I literally see you! I'm in the studio! For watching this comedic PSA. I hope you learned something from this. But we have one final message for you. Hang in there. Vaccines are rolling out and it's only a matter of time before you get one. As long as COVID is still here, people can and will continue to be infected. So please, do your part to slow the spread of the pandemic and hold on just a little bit longer and we will emerge from this pandemic a stronger and better people and nation. Mm -hmm.